Hello, hello. So uh, I found this old microphone in one of my drawers or storage area. And these are really old. My dad got them. It must be at least 20, 25 years ago. And it's the Primo U-7 microphones. And it has a XLR connection. Well, it looks like an XLR at least. Uh, at the bottom, but the, in the other end of the cable, there is a regular three and a half millimeter connection. And I connected this to my sound card, and I have the Audigy 2ZS Platinum Pro. And the Platinum Pro version has the external box, and I think I made a video about that before. And I connect the microphone to that, but. Um, the thing is with this microphone is that you have to turn up the gain a lot to be able to hear the microphone. And when you add the gain, you also add a bunch of noise, background noise. You know? And uh, I wanted to get rid of that. And also I wanted to equalize the microphone a little bit because it's very I wouldn't say boomy, but the uh, frequency is very low. It's very, very daisy. <laughs> so I actually found a software here called uh, Voice Meter Banana. It's donationware, but so far it works really, really nice. And it took a while for me to kind of figure this out, even though I watched some videos about it. But uh, you basically got three hardware inputs and two virtual inputs and a couple of outputs. And um, what I did was to hook up the microphone over here. And um, also it also has a compressor built in here and some, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't remember what it was, but uh, so if I accidentally, you know, make talk louder or whatever, it can't, you know, clip the microphone. And right now I have the microphone to sort of the B1 output, which is over here. You see that it's going there. And second one here, I don't have anything at all. They are muted. I also renamed. You right click here, you can rename everything. But then you have the virtual inputs and these are basically the um, computer sounds. And they actually, if I go to the sound playbacks here, let's move these to the side here. You, see, you got two new sort of playback things and you see this voice meter input, that's the first one here, the regular bio and the OX or the AUX input, is, uh, that's the second one here. So I have set the voice meter as the uh, default device and default communication device. And uh, this is, is where all the game sound and computer sounds coming from. And you can adjust that volume there. And uh, yeah, you got the second one. And you can see that it's set to A1, it's input in A1 or, and that refers to the A, A1 or up here. And I selected the digital output that goes to my sound system. So every sound that goes out here goes is connected to this and you can see over here I actually have selected my microphone it's on the external box and it's a combined line in a microphone input and there's a knob that you turn to sort of switch between the line in the microphone so that's the microphone and over here I got the computer sound and the computer sound is you see it's A1, so let's choose that over here so I can regulate the, that one. And then you got some outputs over here. You got, you know, the A, 
A1 to A3 and then the B1 and B2 and these are kind of virtual outputs and I connected the uh, microphone to the B1 output so I can regulate the C B1 here and you can set it to mono or set it to mono over there but there's an equalizer here if you right click on it you can set up curves over here but what I did was actually you have this IntelliPan thing so you can it's basically some kind of filter uh, for the microphone so that you can actually change the if it want it's basically a filter uh, so that you can get even uh, uh, higher notes on the microphone or lower uh, I don't want to change this right, right now well I don't know if you can hear the difference if I do it like this I don't know but uh, I set it to something like this and yeah that's this is what I actually wanted because I tried to find some kind of other equalizer software or whatever but they just didn't work properly you have to set up configuration files and whatever and it didn't work correctly it, it made the sound or changes to the sound to every sound not just the microphone but also the computer sound so it was really annoying but this seemed to actually work pretty well and um, right now yeah so I have the microphone to B1 and the computer sound to A1 and I lower that a little bit and uh, when I record it to OBS um, also have you also get in the recording here you get uh, the voice meter output and that's actually the uh, microphone you can see it's going up there uh, so instead of having normally you select this line in the mic but now you actually select the voice meter output as you can see when I'm talking and what I do in uh, OBS and um, you might hear a train going by in the background now but uh, so this is OBS and you can see that I am actually recording and you can see the mic here and what you had to do was I go, went to the settings here and on the audio section here so instead of selecting the regular output you select the voice meter in this case the input <laughs> this is what kind of confused me a little bit uh, I want sort of the output from the com computer and not the input but uh, <laughs> yeah but yeah this is what it is this is the input from the, the on the voice meter so to speak and uh, on the microphone I selected the voice meter output so it's basically output from the software not the microphone <laughs> so yeah and that's how I actually got it working and as you can see the, the recording this is the out vo voice meter output and that's actually the microphone it's on the recording tab so it make kind of sense that way and on the uh, this the computer sound is the input and I want to have them separate there's a way to sort of combine every single sound to one kind of channel but I want to separate them because I want actually to add a special filter on the microphone in OBS so what you do is that you actually add you press the cog wheel here and you select filters and what I did here was uh, add a noise suppression just right click add and just noise suppression and the default setting is minus 40 or 30 but I actually got it down to minus 40 and that's to reduce all the sort of background noise it doesn't remove you know the sound that comes from the speakers but the you know that kind of noise uh, so that actually works really well actually so 
yeah really nice kind of software so that's kind of how you set it up and uh, also you can uh, uh, select different filters for a desktop or whatever I actually got a gain I have to add a gain to it or you can actually use these to sort of add stuff but it was really loud in the speakers in the loudspeakers that I have so I had to turn it down but then it turned really low in the OBS software so that's why I had to sort of even though I have it on maximum here I actually had to add another 12 and a half dB gain <laughs> so yeah so that's kind of how I use this software to oops yeah uh, to to sort of change the microphone sound and stuff and you can also add other stuff you can for example use the second aux here as your sort of a media or a communication device for like for example TeamSpeak or Skype and you can uh, have that as a separate channel and then you can have output that sort of commu communication to a uh, your headset or whatever if you have a USB headset it will show up here so you can sort of switch that out and you can have another for example you can have Spotify here or Pandora as a separate channel so if you're playing a game you might not want to have music in the background in your headphones but the viewer on Twitch or whatever might want to have some music so that channel will be separate and you can hear it but the viewer can hear it so it's kind of a neat function here but right now I'm only having the uh, microphone so yeah it's kind of a nice thing and of course you can have multiple outputs uh, I use the VDM Windows Device Manager uh, to set this up right now so yeah kind of neat software uh, I'm really new to this I just install it basically I checked it out for an hour or so I, there's a lot more to learn about different stuff here different settings different EQs and you can actually actually select, select another one here this EQ you can have some preset curves you know some cutoffs at different frequencies you see there are different frequencies here you can actually have it full over here but cut it off over here or down here so it's only the frequency this frequency show up I can cut it off over here so kind of a preset it's kind of nice to fiddle around with but yeah there's a lot of more testing to this so yeah kind of nice that I can found a microphone thing that works or software that works so see you later